2019 has been a very interesting year. I've achieved a whole lot of things in the space of 365 days. I've met amazing people, gone to amazing places in London because your girls are broke, built close, strong bonds. I mean, strong bonds of people. I thought it would have grown tired of me by now. But hey ho, my relationship with God has grown. Although the journey was rocky, we got there in the end. I even decided that this year, I was going to put my fear aside and begin to walk in my purpose, which was huge for me. I can say that the person I was in 2018 is definitely not the person I am now. This year I became stronger, more confident in myself, fiercer, more determined, less intimidated by other people's perceptions of me. This year I decided to pursue my passion. This year I made the decision that I was going to be the mighty woman of God I was born to be. See, last year I was scared of a whole lot of stuff. Some minor things, some not. But this year, God helped me to become a conqueror, not willing to be conquered anymore. I am so excited to see the blessings that are waiting for me in 2020. The doors that are about to be opened, the prayers that are about to be answered. Listen, yeah, I know that whatever the future holds, God has everything in the order they're meant to be in. Sure, and there are a lot of things that would love to happen next year. Doors I'd love to open and doors I'd love to close. Things I want to enter and things I want to leave behind. But even if that isn't the case, even if those doors are still closed, even if I'm still not meant to leave the season I'm in, I am reminded in Jeremiah 29 verse 11 that God has an expected end way for me. Patience, actually patience. So I suppose <laughs> the journey continues.